All right, so you've just finished an investigation of the distributive property, and this page right here is essentially just a mathematical explanation of what you investigated. So essentially, the distributive property, all it says is take whatever's in front of the brackets, so in this case it's the A, take whatever's in front and multiply it by every term that's inside the brackets. So in this case, I would take A times it by B and get AB. Then I would take A and times it by C and get AC. And that's essentially what the distributive property is. So what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to take you through examples of how to use the distributive property. So in this very first one, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2 and multiply it by the x and also by the 5. And that answer, 2 times x, would be 2x and 2 times 5 would be 10. Because those are not like terms, I'm now done. There's nothing else I can do in this question. Likewise, let's move on to the next one. In this case, watch your signs because you have a negative 3 in front. So I'm going to take negative 3 and multiply by x and get negative 3x. And then, this is where people make common errors. I'm going to take negative 3 and multiply it by negative 8. In this case, I get positive 24. So just watch out for some of these common errors that people make in terms of signs. Also, another common error is forgetting to multiply what's in front by the second term or even third term if there's three terms. So let's look at example C now. So again, same sort of idea. We're going to take the 2, we're going to multiply by 3x and get 6x. Then we're going to multiply the 2 by negative 4y and get negative 8y. And finally, we're going to multiply the 2 by the 3 and get 6. Again, that's my final answer because I don't have any like terms left. So now let's look at a few more complicated examples where perhaps I might have like terms to collect. So in this case, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the previous page. I'm going to start by taking the 3 and multiplying it by x and then taking the 3 and multiplying it by 6. Now though, I'm just, I have another one of these, so I'm just going to keep going. Again, watch your signs. I'm going to take the negative 2 and multiply by 2x, and I will get negative 4x, so be careful of the signs there. And I'm going to take the negative 2 and multiply by negative 4 and get positive 8. Again, watch your signs. Now in this case, I'm not done. I have to go a step further, collect like terms, and simplify. So I'm going to start by putting my x's together. And then I'm going to put my constants together. As you get better in math, you'll be able to start to skip that step. But for right now, show up because we don't want to skip too many steps because you're going to make more mistakes that way. And finally, I'm going to simplify. 3x's take away 4x's is negative 1x. Remember, you don't have to put the 1 in front. And 18 plus 8 is positive 26. Now, that is my final answer because I no longer have like terms. So let's look at this last one. It's probably the most complicated one of them all. First thing that people do get a little confused on is this middle term, the negative bracket x plus 2. If you think it's easier for you, put a little 1 in front there to remind yourself that that's really negative 1 times x plus 2. So again, your first step, let's just multiply each term by what's all the terms in the brackets by what's in front by using the distributive property. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Again, the next one is negative 1 times x, which will be negative x. You don't have to put the 1. Negative 1 times 2, which will be negative 2. Finally, we're going to do negative 3 times 4x and get negative 12x. And negative 3 times negative 8 and get positive 24. And if you're doing these, watch your signs. Now, again, this one is not simplified yet. We have to collect our like terms. So we're going to start by putting the x's together. So we'll put 8x minus 1x minus 12x. If it helps you, you can color code these. So you can put a little red square around all the x terms. And let's say we could put a little green circle around the constants. So you can do that if that helps you. 
So now we're going to write our constant. So we'll write our minus 20, our minus 2, and our plus 24. And now we're ready to simplify. So 8x minus 1x is 7x. 7x minus 12x is negative 5x. Negative 20 minus 2 is negative 22. Negative 22 plus 24 is positive 2. And that would be our final answer because we don't have any like terms left.